Loyalty and relationships. Is blood thicker than water? Shannon Hornellstrom here. These are blood tests. I call them vampire testing uh, that I gave my family and I did uh, several years ago when I was having some health challenges. I learned about from a healthcare provider eating for your blood type and that ended up being the thing that I needed to do. I needed to drastically change what I was putting into my body in order to become mobile again. I couldn't walk for a while. It was, uh, it was gonna be months, but it was only a couple, of three weeks before I could finally get out of bed and move. And it was because I drastically followed a regimen that I learned from a, a, a very, very wise woman. I, I can't tell you how much I love and appreciate her for leading me down the path of, of learning that. But one of the fun things I did was I had my kids and my mother and my ex-mother-in-law and my mom and a bunch of us do these blood tests, you know, your blood type. Because it turns out it's pretty hard to figure out what your blood type is. I didn't realize that until I tried to find it in my medical records. And I am a person that has boxes and boxes or, or now lots of digital files um, about medical things. Because I've had a lot of chal medical challenges throughout my my life. And my life's getting longer, so the list is getting longer. But I, I did not, there was no record of my blood type. So I had to order these blood I think I ordered them off Amazon, or I ordered them from some lab. Royal, oh, Royal Mail. They came from, wow, I don't even know where they came from. Anyway, doesn't matter. <clears throat> Blood is thicker than water was our idiom for supersized business today. Sharon Hornell's from, by the way, day 1,615 of What's You Up To Now. This segment, I just document my journey. What am I doing? Uh, what's working? What's not working? What's, what am I thinking about? as I am growing and building and supersizing my business and helping other people to do the same. Uh, today, blood is thicker than water is our idiom. I'm doing a relationship-related idioms for the month of June to correspond with the annual BU 365-day challenge. Our, our annual challenge this year is all about doing something every day that, that improves us, moves us to becoming a better and continually improving version of ourselves. And so our uh, topic for that was loyalty and relationships and I shared nine different traits that may indicate and may be signs that somebody would be loyal. Now, it's, there's no guarantee, right? There's no guarantee that anybody's going to be loyal to you or that you're going to be loyal to anyone else. Uh, that applies in our personal relationships, our families, our friends, our work relationships, our businesses, etc. Uh, everybody, each of us inside, decides what will cause us to stay in a relationship? What, what causes us to stay in a job? What causes us to leave? And it, it's different for everyone, but we all have that line in the sand that we won't cross. And when the relationship goes to that line, that's when we make our choice and we separate and we, we decide we're not gonna be loyal. I contend no one should be loyal to a relationship where there is abuse, mistreatment, whether that's your significant other, whether it's a family member or a friend or a work environment or your business. If you're treating your people bad, they should leave your organization. Uh, so we talked about that and we talked about blood being thicker than water and how I've had experience on both sides of the fence. And I didn't talk about any specifics, but I've had some of my best business relationships being involved in businesses with family members. And I've had some of my worst uh, being involved with relatives. So. It, it, there's a whole spectrum of lessons to be learned for all of us everywhere, but that is one, the blood is thicker than water, which actually I just shared, how do I look at things now as I'm deciding who and what I'm gonna bring into my different businesses? And I look at it scientifically. I look for the facts. What is, what is the way things are? Not how do I wish they were, but how are they actually? I look at my past experiences, my experience now, the experience I've had with that person, just like I would if I were hiring somebody else that, that has no connection to me via relations or friend of a friend or uh, daughter or son or whatever. Everybody goes through a similar process of evaluation. Do they have the right uh, desire to work in the organization? Do they have the skills and abilities? Mostly do they have the core values that match where we're going with this business and then are they teachable and trainable do they want to come in and learn and be a part of this organization if they don't next just like anyone else yeah I'm not gonna just bring you in because you want to make a paycheck I don't want anybody working with me and my businesses because of that um, so then I look at uh, results what results have I gotten in the past previous results my current situation 
and what I anticipate or expect or am estimating for the future. And then guidance from people much wiser than me. My, I actually have a, my brother-in-law is an attorney and he gives me great advice. And one thing he says is always get things in writing. And he told me that. And in some situations early on, some of the bad situations, I did not do that. And it ended up being a really, really bad experience. So get it in writing, document, share expectations up front, continually communicate and give one another feedback. Always check in with how is it going, just like you should with all of the people that work in your organizations or are part of your organizations. And, you know, choose wisely, just like we do with our significant other partner. We should choose people that we get in business with and do business with wisely as well, using many of the same criteria. So that is what I'm working on today. Kids just got home. My granddaughter's still sleeping because she was up until 1.21 last night. She talked to her folks on the phone and that caused uh, her to be very wound up and she didn't want to go to sleep. So it was a late night and actually I'm watching her sleep right now. She's so freaking adorable. I can't hardly stand it. Uh, but she'll be waking up soon. So I'm going to sign off. If I can help you in any way, ask. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow in a little more uh, in tune because I'll have had a little more sleep. We'll be able to speak a bit more uh, clearly. All right, any questions, hit me up. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow. Bye. Have a great day.